Uh, but um, broadband, can I, I just tell you, Deputy Kenny, I, I don't know who wrongly informed you, but the fact that the technology companies, Google, Apple, Dell, all of them are continuing to expand and invest and move to, uh, to, are give, are, are moving to higher rate uh, of advancement in this country with, with huge investments. And there's none of them either uh, even thinking uh, of pulling away from us by, by broadband. They, they see, not alone are they using uh, this country to develop their own capacity within Ireland, which we should be very proud of, and of our young qualified engineers that go through our excellent education system. But they're all using this as their uh, R&D base. Uh, the, new, the, new, the new Dell, uh, we're, we're talking about the Republic of Ireland now, we won't get down to um, we talk about Kevin another day, we talk about the Republic of Ireland, if you keep it today. Um, can I call you? Uh, th these companies are, are putting more and more investments in and they're operating their European plants uh, out of the high quality uh, people that are working here. And, and this is happening all over the, the, the issue. I mean, you, I think, Deputy Ken, you take a certain satisfaction that there's an international downturn in the economy. I do not think, I do not think as a serious political leader uh, of a party that you should take that view. Um, uh, if you have anything useful uh, to say, you should be supporting uh, the government policies in increasing the capital program. Um, you are you're asking us to put more money into schools. The fact is what we are doing in the capital program, it, we have upped the capital program to 6% of GDP. There is nowhere else in Europe doing that. We have gone way beyond the figure that Europe would do so that we can put a uh, stimulus into the economy. We are spending 600 million uh, this year on the capital program. Last year there were 1,400 schools uh, under various uh, investments in the school. Well, well, I can tell you when I took over as teacher we were doing 14 projects a year. Now it's 1,400 projects. So don't play, please. This year, this year maybe it's not. Maybe this year maybe it's not to the same extent. But Count Collier, uh, as far as um, uh, FOSS, I just remind Deputy Kenny, it's 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 it's, it's certain and it, it look after the catering trade. But uh, what we are doing with all of these uh, areas uh, is to is to, to make sure uh, that we can continue to trade and uh, to train in the sectors where we believe there is employment. And yes, there is employment opportunities in the tourism sector, uh, and we would like to see uh, more employers, particularly, uh, give first chance uh, to uh, Irish people in, in, in that sector. Uh, we pay uh, well, we have good rates, and I think in a more difficult time, uh, they should be uh, looking at that, not apart from the fact there's excellent uh, people from other nationalities who can come here, but they, they can give um, in preference to our workers. In construction, there is a huge uh, d development across major capital projects in the non-residential area, uh, and we have to make sure we sustain these issues. And Ken Collier, as I said at the outset, um, uh, on the, the first question, productivity becomes essential uh, when uh, the international markets um, have a downturn. And what we need to make sure uh, that for 2008, 2009, as we've done previously many times, is that we get the best value uh, for the resources we're putting in, uh, that we have uh, high levels of productivity along with an excellent workforce that do give good flexibility. And that will uh, see us through uh, a period where the economy is still growing by 3%, more than most countries uh, in the OECD, uh, and to build ourselves back in a medium term to stronger growth.